Hello, here is a simple design. It's economical. You could say it has econ economy because it's using very simple forms, or I should say simple shapes to create a very simplified form or overall composition. Now you could say that there is similarity here uniting the whole design because they are very similar but not exact shapes. You could also say that there is common fate because they all appear to be headed in the same direction and that does unify the whole design but which m what might be better is to have separate groups for this. Now in terms of moving all in the same direction let's select some of this. I'm going to select these three and I have this here with the, the normal foreground and background and so I could go to Edit, Free Transform, and I'm going to move these so that they they are headed in a different direction. I'm going to hit the Enter key. I'm going to Control D to deselect, or you could go Select, Deselect, and then I'm going to select this one and Edit, Free Transform, and have this be curved in about the same angle there. Move it up a little bit. Okay, and control D to deselect. So now common fate groups these three with this one because they are all headed in the same direction. It also groups these four together because they are headed in the same direction. Okay, now let's look at similarity. Now you could say these three are probably pretty much grouped together. They're not by common fate because they're not headed in the same direction, but they're pretty much the same size. And you could even maybe try to include this in the, in the group. But let's create something that illustrates it even a little more effectively. I'm going to choose um, the line tool and I put a weight of three. And the style, which you can't see, I'm going to move this over here. So you could see it a little better as I chose this one down here. Okay, let me move this back so you can see the tools. And so I'm going to create this. So even though they are not headed in the same direction through common fate, you could say they are grouped together by similarity because they are quite a bit different than the rest of them. Even if I put one down here, you would still want to group these three or these four together due to similarity. Now I'm also going to show good continuation. You might be tempted to see this as one line. It, they're similar and they seem to be, um, well they don't have to be similar but they it could be quite a bit um, different shapes in here but it all seems to find um, a similar path and so I change this to 30 and if I put in fill this in just a little more even though they are quite different you see it's, it's going to make this more apparent that this is a continuous line and through good continuation it tends to make this one continuous line. Here is another example of good continuation. Even though they are not the same shape, it still tends to form a continuous line through good continuation.